my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up uh, your XFX3 straight into Reaper um, running on your laptop when you're running Windows 10. Uh, it's January 2023, so the version of Windows 10 I have is, is up to date. Um, all right, first thing you need to do uh, is plug your XFX3 into your laptop with a USB cable. Um, you don't need an interface. So XFX3 and recording in Reaper is so easy that it's, um, it's awesome. You don't need a ton of stuff to do it. All you need is a USB cable. So plug that in. Um, and then for Windows, in order to get connected to XFX3 hardware, you need to have uh, the drivers. So what you do is go to Fractal's downloads page and check it out right here. I'll put the link in the description too for this. Go down to the USB driver setup for Windows. Download that puppy. In your downloads, it'll be a zip file. Unzip it and then just run that um, executable for those drivers. And X, you, you'll want XEdit as well if you didn't already install that. Um, so once you run those drivers, um, XEdit will work. So you'll be connected to your, your hardware, your XFX3. And now Reaper will also be capable of reading from your XFX3. So until you install those drivers, Reaper has no clue your XFX3 even exists. So let's go over to Reaper and show you how to do, I'll show you how to do this. So in Reaper, first thing you got to do is set up what's called your ASIO settings. Uh, go to options, preferences, um, and in here, you set it up like this. I'm going to leave it there for a second. All right. I mean, that's how I have it set. You can set a few different outputs and stuff in there, but that's how I have mine working right now. Um, then what you do is add a track to Reaper. So I'm just going to double click over here. Um, and then right, I right click on this spot right here and go to input mono or stereo and you'll see these in one out block whatever those are your x effects uh inputs that you configured in that ASIO setting so all you got to do is pick one of those um i'll just you know leave it actually i'll, I'll do stereo here real quick fat fingering here with my mouse. Um, and then once you do that, you just turn on, turn on recording and you should see some input there, you know, and we got it. So that's how you do it. And then once, you know, once you've got input like that, um, you just, you can, you can start start recording something you know I'll do a little quick jingle here I guess for the heck of it oops all right So anyway, that's how you do it. Download the uh, the drivers, install them, stick in the USB, set your ASIO settings, set your track input to one of those inputs on the ASIO, and you got yourself uh, zero to hero in about 10 minutes. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.